people. Mmm, I love you wherever you are. <laughs> Well, Charlotte is still stranded in Lakeview, waiting for a train reservation to Hollywood. And still attached to the Lakeview Post-Dispatch, absorbing a newspaper background for the part she'll play in her next picture. So, let's look into her office. Oh, I never thought I'd see you again. Oh, I never could find the K on this machine. Let me see now this. Oh, there it is. K-A-T. Oh, it's a big cat. <laughs> Capital K-A-T. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Charlotte Greenwood. Calling from Hollywood? Oh, yes, put him on. That's my manager, Roger Humphrey. Oh, hello, Roger. Nothing's wrong. No, I've simply been too busy to write. No, no, I feel fine. My health's wonderful. The last time I was on the scales, I weighed 130 pounds. Trip? Don't be silly, not with all those people in the drugstore. <laughs> You're the one that should watch your weight. <laughs> you ought to reduce a little. I know of a marvelous reducing course. It's guaranteed. Uh-huh. A slender waistline in two weeks or your tummy back. <laughs> oh, Roger, I have to hang up. Mr. Anderson is buzzing for me. All right, Roger, stop worrying. I'll be back in Hollywood just as soon as I can get a reservation. Goodbye. Oh, come in, John. Uh, just a second. Now, this is Anderson. Has Tommy Brooke come back yet? No. When you see him, send him to my office. Sit down, Charlotte. You know, I've come to admire you greatly. Why, Mr. Anderson, I didn't think you cared. <laughs> I mean your intellect. Oh, my intellect. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You've got brains. Well, the only trouble with brains is they don't show up in a bathing suit. <laughs> you know, I, I want your opinion on something. I guess you're familiar with the name Madame Jacquette. You mean Madame Jacquette of Paris, the famous fashion house? Of course. Uh-huh. Well, now, Charlotte, you're an average woman, wouldn't you say? Well, I'm a little above the average. I'm a little on the tall side, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not speaking of height. That, that's hereditary. You can't pick your ancestors. Well, that's fair enough. My ancestors probably wouldn't have picked me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about the average woman's interest. Now, for example, would you be interested in reading a series of fashion articles by Madame Jacquette? Why, of course. Every woman would. Exactly. Every woman would. Well, the post dispatch is going to run just such a series by Madame Jacquette. What? The first authentic fashion notes out of Paris in five years. But that's impossible. Madame Jacquette hasn't been heard from since the German occupation of Paris. That's what you think. That's what a lot of people think, including our esteemed contemporary, the Evening Journal. Well, Jacquette is right here in town, at the Winfield Apartments. What? At the Winfield Apartments? Uh-huh. Put off a westbound Hollywood plane last night on account of a priority. I found out about it this morning, found Jacquette in the apartment, closed the deal for the articles this afternoon. Well, it's almost unbelievable. Yes, indeed. A real scoop. And just wait till Charlie Cowan over at the Evening Journal hears about it. Well, it's practically a miracle. You mean my getting the articles? No, anybody finding an apartment. It... <laughs> Oh, oh, finding an apartment, yeah. Did you want to see me, Mr. Anderson? Oh, yes, Brooke. Where's that Jacquette contract? Oh, right here, Mr. Anderson. I haven't taken it over to be signed yet. Haven't taken it over? Now, listen, Brooke. You hop in that jalopy of yours and get over there with that contract. Madam Jacquette is leaving on the 12 o'clock train. Oh, yes, sir. Hop in 3B. Everything's all arranged. All you have to do is get the contract signed and scram back here. Well, I'd better be getting along, too. Tommy, will you drop me at the bus stop? I can just catch the 11.15. Oh, sure, I'll drive you to the bus stop, Miss Greenwood. Hey, uh, you better take a taxi home, Charlotte. The buses are pretty crowded this time of night. Oh, not too crowded. Last evening, I had a whole strap to myself. Good night, Mr. Anderson. Come on, Tommy. Here's the bus stop, Miss Greenwood, but I don't see any signs of the bus. Well, it isn't due for three minutes yet. Oh, gee, I'm sorry I can't drive you all the way out to your cottage. Oh, that's all right. From the end of the bus line, I just have a ten-minute walk. That is, if I run. <laughs> yeah, but at this time of night. Somebody was telling me the other evening some guy followed you. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. <laughs> but then I'm grateful for the rumor. <laughs> well, good night, Miss... <laughs> Miss Greenwood. Huh? That contract. I lost it. Lost it? Oh, you couldn't. Wait a moment. When you were at that gas station back there for gas and you got out of the car... Yeah. I'll bet that's where I lost it. 
Oh, gee, Miss Greenwood, Mr. Anderson will fire me for this. If he just wouldn't be human. Well, who says he is human? Now, you chase back now to that gas station. You'll find the contract. Yeah, but I haven't time to go there and then get to the apartment. That Hollywood plane takes off at midnight and Jaquette will be leaving. Now, you've got three quarters of an hour, Tommy. I'm going over that apartment right now, and I'm going to see that nobody leaves till that contract is signed. <laughs> So ends Act One in today's Hallmark Charlotte Greenwood show, brought to you by the makers of Hallmark greeting cards, sold only in better shops and stores. For over 30 years, discriminating people have known that the Hallmark imprint on the back of the cards they buy, like sterling on silver, is always their assurance of the finest quality. So whenever you buy a card for any occasion, be sure to look on the back for the identifying word, a Hallmark card. H-A-L-L-M-A-R-K. A A Hallmark card. Yes, don't forget, a Hallmark card will best express your perfect taste, your thoughtfulness. And now, an old favorite, Whispering, with Charles Hathaway, his orchestra, and the Hallmark chorus. He had a hunch the next thing he'd lose would be his job. So Charlotte's out to save the situation. While Tommy goes to look for the missing document, Charlotte plans to call at Madame Jaquette's apartment and keep Madame Jaquette there until Tommy returns. So we find Charlotte now knocking at the apartment door. Uh, Good evening. I wonder if I could talk to Madame Jaquette. Please, come in. Thank you. You see, I'm from Wait, the... Uh... do not move. Spend as you are. Mm-hmm. Anything wrong? My clip showing? <laughs> Tell me, that hat you are wearing, what is that thing on it? That? Oh, it's just an apple. Mm, yes, it's a la mode. Definitely a la mode. No, plain apple. There's no ice cream on it. <laughs> uh, but the dress, the, the gauche. I hope those are nice words. Enfin, mon cher, it is terrible. 
If that means what I think it does, you better look out. Uh, I would like to see you in something flowing. Yes, I'd like to see you in something flowing, preferably the river. <laughs> now, look, now, I think this discussion has gone far enough. I'm here to... Please, uh... sit down. I have some writing to attend to. Uh, where is my pen? Oh, please. I started to say that I came here to How talk... How do you spell autumn? Autumn? We well, like the shade of autumn. A-U-T-U-M-N. I have something very important to How say to the... How do you spell chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum. Yellow or pink? Uh, pink. P-I-N-K. <laughs> uh, I have something very important uh, to say. The season scholars will reflect the glorious shades of autumn. They will be crimson, they will be gold, they will be... But that is funk. <laughs> Not only a writer, but a critic. Mm-hmm. Now, look, I'm very democratic, and I just dote on butlers, but I am here to see Madame Jacquette. My dear lady, Madame Jacquette is a fictitious character. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, running down the character of the woman you work for. In other mm-hmm. words, I am Madame Jacquette. Of all the ungra... You're what? I said I am Madame Jacquette, and what is more, I think you are crazy. You're, you're Madame Jacquette and you think I'm crazy? Attorney, if you please. Madame Jacquette is what you call a trade name. But I am the famous Madame Jacquette of Paris. Only for the last five years I've been living in Switzerland. Well, I'm from the Post of Fashion. For the last five years I've been living in Hollywood. Now, I came here to talk to you about fashion articles. Did you indeed? Well, this is the first article. I have just completed it. But since you do not care for my work... Don't tear it. Wait. Now, listen, madam. I mean, Mr. Anton Jacquet. My name is Jacquet. Well, my name's Greenwood. How do you do, Mrs. Greenwood? It's not Mrs. Greenwood, it's Miss Greenwood. I'm sorry. You're sorry. (laughs) Now, listen, Jake. Now, don't pay any attention to what I say. I don't know anything about writing, but I am here to talk about the contract. Ah, très bien. Where is the contract? That's just it. There has been a slight delay. The, uh, the lawyers, you know. Lawyers? Yes, they got the party of the first part second and the party of the second part first, whereas the second part, all or in part, should have been part of the first part. (laughs) Will you please tell me what this has happened? I am telling you, they're having trouble getting spare parts. Plane to cash. I'm going in the next room here to continue my packing. And if the contract is not here when I have finished, the agreement is cancelled. But Mr. Jacquette, listen, listen. Oh, thank goodness, Tommy. How do you do? My name's Count. Count? Yes, yeah, Charlie Count. I'm from the Evening Journal. I'd like to see Madame Jacquette. <laughs> Charlotte, we're already hearing plenty about French fashions now that Paris has been liberated. And say, when the Allies marched into the city, that must have been a great day for Paris. Oh, that was a great day for all of us. But boy, I got goose pimples when I heard on the radio, MacArthur in the Philippines. (laughs) That was a great day. Oh, you're right. Those were two great days. And Wendell, there'll be many more great days leading up to the one great day of all. Right. So, friends... Charlotte is going to sing a song that right now couldn't be more appropriate. Great day. There's a great day coming, hallelujah, gonna be, hallelujah. Angels in the sky promise 
I know that you're all familiar with Hallmark cards and have sent them on many occasions. They're appropriate Hallmark birthday cards for friends and for each member of the family. There are congratulation cards for weddings and anniversaries and for that new baby. Cheerful cards to help make the day brighter for folks who are ill. Beautiful little cards to enclose with gifts of all kinds and others to say thank you. Friendship cards you can send at any time just to say hello and many, many others. So send a card to keep in touch. And when you do send a card for any occasion, be sure to look on the back for this mark of quality, the identifying words, a Hallmark card. H-A-L-L-M-A-R-K. A A Hallmark card. Yes, don't forget, a Hallmark card will best express your perfect taste, your thoughtfulness. pick up our story. Not only has Tommy failed to return with a contract, but another serious complication has turned up. For standing in the doorway of the apartment is a man who says... I'm from the Evening Journal, and I'd like to see Madame Jaquette. The Evening Journal? Yeah, that's right. Lake Hughes, leading newspaper. And say, I bet you're Madame Jaquette. I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> which one, monsieur? <laughs> Toujours l'amour, quelques fleurs, la bleu, you've begun, Schiaparelli, Chanel number five. <laughs> well, I don't stand as the lingo, madam, but it sure does sound cute. <laughs> uh, can I come in? No, 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 not at this hour. Oh, that's okay. This trip is strictly business. Yes, but monsieur. Ah, I just want to get a little dope on the latest Paris fashions, you know, for our paper. But you cannot remain here, monsieur. Now, uh, listen, if you don't mind, I'll just jot down a few notes. Now, tell me, what kind of hats are they wearing? Hats? Yes. Oh, big hats. Oh. You know, the ten-gallon size. Oh. <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, are they very expensive? No, 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 no. They are only ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars, huh? We? Oui? That's a dollar a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, how about the hosiery? Oh, monsieur, hosiery, that is very scarce. The girl is very fortunate if she has one single pair. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, she will wear them come see like this on one day. And then the next day she will, how you say, uh, reverse them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. turn them. We oui, every morning she turns the hose on herself. <laughs> huh? And uh, mostly we use the, uh, uh, what you call the liquid stocking feet. We even use it on the face. Oh, <laughs> oh, liquid stockings on your face. Tell me, does it work? We, oui, but... Every time you laugh, you get to run in your neck. Ah, ah, say, you're a card, madam. N'est-ce pas? And now you must call Bon Wheaty, Monsieur Cowan. Yeah, yeah. But just a second. You see, the Evening Journal would like to make a little deal with you, you know, for a series of fashion articles. Hey, what do you mean, fashion articles? No, no, no. That is impossible. Now, don't say that till you've had a look at our contract. Look, I got it right here. We'll be willing to pay you plenty. No, no, you must go. Permit me, monsieur. But listen, if you'll just take a look at this contract. It is out of the question. But why? Because, well, because I have not the time. My husband he is sick. He is very sick. Oh, your husband. Oh, now go quick. Hey, what is all this? Who is this man? Now, now, don't get the idea. Just take it easy, pal. This is purely a business proposition. You see, I came here to make a deal with Madame Jacquette. Very well. I am Madame Jacquette. You are, Madame... Oh, you're right, lady. He is sick. <laughs> now, please go. Okay, so long. 
Oh, uh, say, you, uh, you're sure you don't want to take a look at the contract? 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 Of course I wish to look at it. Monsieur Anderson promised he would have it here by 7 o'clock. Anderson? You mean Willie Anderson? Uh-oh, here comes trouble. But yes, I am Anton Jaquette, known to the world as Madame Jaquette. And Monsieur Anderson engaged me to write a series of articles for his newspaper. Oh, wait a minute. Hold everything. I think I'll stay a while. I understood your wife here to say She that... is not my wife. She is from the Post Dispatch. Well, what do you know? A phony. Mr. Cowan, in our set, we say Miss Phony. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. We can settle everything in two minutes, Mr. Jacquet. Now, just sign this contract here. And... A moment. I will get my pen. But you can't, Mr. Jacquet. Listen. I have no time to listen. There is a plane leaving at midnight, and I propose to be aboard it. Fine, fine. Just sign, and then I'll drive you right out to the airport. But you promised us the series. I do not care what I promise. This gentleman has a contract, and that is the contract I shall sign. Wait. Whatever the evening journal is offering you, the post dispatch will raise it. Hey, what are you trying to do? Get me into a battle of wit? No, I never battle a person who's unarmed. <laughs> okay, okay, if you want to fight this thing out, we'll double our original offer. You will? You will double it? Why, sure. Give me the contract. Hey, uh, hold it. We'll double that. Why, you're crazy. Are you all right? Certainly. Then I'm glad I'm crazy. Uh, hey, where's Tommy? Why, Sean. Oh, hello, Willie. What are you doing here, Con? Oh, I just came for the ride, but it looks like you're the one who's going to be taken for it. No, it's just the other way around. Boy, what, what do you mean, the other way around? He outbid us for the fashion articles. It's, 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 stop me! Stop me! Oh, boy, this is incredible. This, this, this is insufferable. This, this, this is catastrophic. To think, to think that I should live to see the day when the post is fast is out there. But I told you, it is the other way around. No, listen to me. It is simply that I have decided to write for your paper. You've decided to write for my... Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Glad I got that cleared up. So you had the effrontery, Cowan, to think that you could put something over on the post's badge, huh? Yeah, just play <laughs> business, Willie, just play business. I was ready to offer Mr. Jacquet six thousand. The same of it, so I double the amount. Then she doubled it. Oh, that's too bad. Well, oh, next time, old boy. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. I yeah. uh, hope you liked your articles. They're costing you twenty-four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that you uh, punk tried it. Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four thousand. Well, that'll put us out of business. We'll all starve. We'll all be eating grass. Well, it'll taste better than spinach. <laughs> Mr. Spinach and Mr. Jacquette. This has been a mistake. There'll be no mistake. I accepted this lady's bid in good faith, and I have a witness. The gentleman who just left. Oh, Charlotte, how could you have made a bid like that? I didn't know how much money Mr. Cowan was starting with. Oh, well, there you are, Mr. Jacquette. You should be ashamed. Ashamed. Taking financial advantage of this poor, sweet, innocent little child. Who, you mean me? <laughs> child, the woman is an adventurous, pure and simple. I never saw an adventurous that was pure and simple. <laughs> Nevertheless, 24,000. Oh, now, look, be reasonable, will you? Be reasonable. I'll, I'll, I'll meet Cowan's offer of six. I'll even boost it to ten, but... The but... amount is 24,000. You're a hard man, Madame Jacquette. Yes. So you will not forget I will write it on the slip of paper. Yes. Together with my Geneva address. Don't forget the zone number. Okay. Yes. And unless my office receives the money in 30 days, I will sue your publication. Will you, will you just listen to me? I am sorry, but I have a plane to catch. Good night. Where? Where? Where did you go? Oh, we're sunk. We're not sunk. It's the other way around. Here's the slip of paper. Oh, go away, go away, leave me alone. It says send 24,000 francs. Francs? Francs? Did, 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 did you say francs? Yes, francs. That's what he's written here. 24,000 francs are only $6,000. It is? I mean, it is. Oh, well, that's what we figured on at first. Yes, you see, it's so simple. Simple? I'm so twisted around, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't stand much more of this. Mr. Anderson, what else can I do to help you? What else can you do? I'll tell you what you can do to help me. Something that'll help me a lot. Get out of the newspaper business! Get out, but what would I do? I don't care what you do. Do anything. Be a mother. Have children. Get married. Mr. Anderson! 
Mr. Anderson, it's the other way around. Charlotte Greenwood will be back to say a few words I know you'll want to hear. Meanwhile, I want to remind you again that for over 30 years, discriminating people have known that the hallmark imprint on the back of the greeting cards they buy, like sterling on silver, is always their assurance of finest quality. So whenever you buy a card for any occasion, be sure to look on the back for the identifying words, a hallmark card, H A W L. M-A-R-K, a Hallmark card. Those three words tell your friends you cared enough to send the very best. Yes, don't forget, a Hallmark card will best express your perfect taste, your thoughtfulness. And now, Charlotte Greenwood. Friends, there's never been a time when so many families were disunited, separated by thousands of miles from those they love. Our top-ranking officers have told us again and again, there's nothing so important to our boys and girls as mail from home. So look around you today. Think of some boy or girl out there who would like to hear from you and do something. Send something to say, hello, I'm thinking of you. You're not forgotten. Will you do that today? Not for me, but for them. And now, until next Sunday at the very same time, this is Charlotte Greenwood saying, Oh, long friends Sunday, I'm not.